today I'm going to synthesize the incredibly useful chemical sodium nitrite by the reduction of the much more common and readily accessible chemical sodium nitrate. To get started, I begin by crushing together stoichiometric amounts of sodium nitrate and calcium sulfite. This mixture is going to be heated, which is going to reduce the nitrate to nitrite and oxidize the sulfite to sulfate. This process is conducted entirely in the solid state, so it's really important that your reagents are as thoroughly mixed as possible. I would honestly recommend a coffee grinder over a mortar and pestle. On that note, it's also important that heat is applied as evenly as possible. I did this on a Bunsen burner, which overheated the bottom and decomposed it to nitrogen dioxide, while the top maybe didn't get as hot as it could have gotten. I did this process again in a regular toaster oven at a higher heat over a longer interval of time, and it turned out just as well if not better. In any case, once the reaction is finished and the beaker is cooled down, I transfer my crude product to another beaker. I use a little bit of water to help get it out, and this is totally fine because calcium sulfate, the byproduct, as well as calcium sulfite, which was a reagent that may be in excess, are both completely insoluble in water, and I filter them away in the next step anyway. Sodium nitrite, however, is extremely soluble in water, and all of it should be rinsed through here and wind up in my Erlenmeyer flask. The resulting filtrate containing my sodium nitrite is transferred to a crystallization dish and put on a hot plate to dry. The coarse crystals produced at the end are then crushed down in a mortar and pestle and weighed, and I determine that I have a final mass of 26.4 grams of mostly pure sodium nitrite. This represents a 76.5% yield, but that goes under the assumption that there is no sodium nitrate here, which is definitely not the case. Regardless, I want to end this video with a qualitative test for nitrite, and to do this I just add a little bit of concentrated sulfuric acid to my salt. Here as a sort of control, I add some concentrated sulfuric acid to some sodium nitrate. And this produces nitrogen dioxide gases, but only if a large amount of heat is added. Sodium nitrite, however, is a much stronger reducing agent than nitrate, and will spontaneously react with sulfuric acid at room temperature to produce nitrogen dioxide gases. With that said, I can tell that my product here is mostly sodium nitrite and more than adequate for my purposes. I hope you found this interesting and consider giving me a follow.